I mean, I should probably have some coffee before I do this, because I literally just woke up, but oh well, <laughs> you know, live life to the fullest and all that. Hi guys, so when I said two weeks ago in a video that I'm so grateful for a thousand subscribers and, you know, because I am, and, uh, you know, we're going to do a Q&A video to celebrate. Leave your comments below. I didn't think that a week and a half later I would be sitting here with 4,000 subscribers and nearly 250 comments. So, yeah. <laughs> I have attempted to make this video before. I actually had about an hour and a half of audio of me literally trying to answer all your comments and it occurred to me that I was going to just have to answer a couple, I'm so sorry. So I've picked out about 20, 21 and obviously I don't know how long this recording is going to go for so some could still get cut out in post but yeah. So thank you guys for all of your comments. I I really appreciate it. I just I cannot get get to all of them. I'm so sorry. I just I tried and I couldn't. <laughs> and thank you for all the support and welcome to all the new subscribers. It is great to have you here. I just didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> so let's get into the questions before this intro gets any longer. Uh, Scarlet Lee Art said, what art supplies do you use and what are your favorite? I think it's pretty obvious that I like watercolors the most. I think watercolor is my favorite art supply and I am currently mostly using the White Knights watercolors. I have used the Holbein watercolors, but if you watched my review on the White Knights, you'll know that they have quickly become my favorite. Um, so I've been using them the most and I also use Faber-Castell Pitt artist pens and I use the Tombow mm, what are they called the Tombow dual brush tip pens yes I also use those I really like those and I also use Winsor & Newton gouache and a little bit of the Holbein gouache I don't have a lot of it but I've got some uh, Dana Hopes or Dana Hope.s said do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend and I am currently single. I wouldn't mind a boyfriend, but yeah, I'm a single Pringle. That that expression is so lame. So lame. Death Note, which I'm pretty sure is an anime, said, how do you choose colors for your paintings? I watched a couple of videos on color theory, so I sort of taught myself color theory by doing that. And I also make sure that whatever colors I use aren't sort of at their fullest saturation, or if, if I want one color to be at its like peak saturation, so let's let's say pink. If I want pink to be really, really bright, then the other colors are going to be more desaturated and less, less bright because otherwise everything's going to clash and it's just going to sort of burn your eyes. I can't explain color theory now. I wouldn't mind doing a video on it because I feel like a lot of color theory is overcomplicated and I could sort of just simplify it down. But yeah, no, uh, choosing colors, not too hard, really just choose whatever you like. And if that stumps you, then you can always go to Pinterest and just be like, nice color combinations, winter color combinations, you know, stuff like that. So get some ideas, get some inspiration. Ambris 2004 a said, how do you edit and record your YouTube videos with traditional drawings? And how do you start making voiceovers? Because I want to do that, but I'm too nervous. I was nervous too. And I was nervous for about a year and then I actually started making voiceovers and people enjoyed my videos a lot more. So I totally understand where you're coming from with being nervous, but trust me, the more, you've, the more you do it, the more you get a little bit more confident. I mean, I've only done a couple of videos doing a voiceover, but I'm already getting better. Already getting better at sitting in my room and talking to myself. Because let's be honest, I did that anyway, now I'm just recording myself doing it. Um, okay, editing and recording my YouTube videos. I will put some footage on screen of my recording setup, but basically it is a selfie stick in a jar of rocks. The rocks are sort of like built around the selfie stick to keep it up straight. And then I put my phone on the selfie stick and I just hit record. I sort of make sure that whatever I'm working on is in frame. 
and I film in front of an open window, not open, but you know, in front of a window so that I have natural lighting. And then I'll put my the footage that I've recorded into my laptop and I'll edit it in Shotcut. I would once again like to do a more in-depth video about that, but I feel like that's sort of the uh, the gist of what happens. And I use my my phone and the like voice record app, just the one that came with the phone, to record voiceover. And then I just put that in shortcut and overlay. Next question comes from Meow Meow Kapow. And I was so excited to see her come into my um, comment section because I've been watching her for the last few months and then YouTube recommended her one of my videos. So that was, that was insane. <laughs> um, she left me some very nice comments and she asked the question you have been turned into a cupcake by an evil wizard what flavor are you and what do you do and i would probably be strawberry because i am magenta mayhem so i'm pink so that would make sense i i don't know um what do i do i would probably steal the wizard's wand and turn him into a cupcake and see how he likes it give him a taste of his own medicine yeah justice and then and then i would put him in therapy because he can be a better person than that i mean clearly he's got talent he can turn random people into cupcakes like he could turn that into a business like he could turn inanimate objects into cupcakes i mean we could cure world hunger people that that's a fantastic idea i can't believe i just thought of that now I just need to find an evil wizard. Okay, we need to move on before I keep rambling. Um, <laughs> Xcafty, I cannot say these usernames. Will you ever show your face? By the way, I love your art, it's super unique. Thank you so much. Um, I don't think right now I'm going to start showing my face, but I might in the future, so yeah, look out for that. Hmm. Elle Marie said, what's your favorite and least favorite art supply or medium? I think my favorite is probably either watercolor or gouache. Probably watercolor, because I like that a lot. Um, and my least favorite might be Copic markers. I'm sorry, I and sorry, not specifically Copic markers, alcohol-based markers in general. I used to use them a lot. I used to enjoy using them, but I don't really enjoy them anymore. Yeah, I don't really enjoy them anymore. They're not really my thing anymore. <laughs> Emma Louise 89 said, who's your favorite cousin? And I have a lot of cousins, but Emma bought me cheese. So probably gonna have to go with Emma. Callie Cat said, favorite Panic at the Disco song? Probably This Is Gospel. That's, I, I really like that song, <laughs> I, but I also really enjoy the piano version. I think it's um really, really good song. E-R-X-N said when did you first start drawing can we ever see any of your old drawings and are you going to redraw them for us at any point uh i first started well i've been drawing my whole life i started taking it a little more seriously when i was maybe 15 16. you can see some of my older artwork on my magenta mayhem deviant art which i believe gets linked in the description box i don't really use it anymore but it's it's there and yeah, I would love to do re- Ugh, can't talk today. I would love to do redraws. I just, um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I'll have to put that on the list of video, video ideas. I actually have a list for that now because you guys have lots of good ideas. Sana the Great said, what Hogwarts house are you in? Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? And can I pet your cat? I am in Gryffindor. I think I sort of lean into Hufflepuff just a little bit because I can be quite loyal, but bravery is something that I value greatly. I'm not a very brave person, but I have done scary things sort of just out of necessity. Um, so yeah, I'm Gryffindor. Um, and that's Pottermore official, don't worry. Uh, my favorite Harry Potter character is definitely Luna Lovegood and you can try and pet my cat, but she's a psycho and, you know, runs away from people. <laughs> Tara May Music said, how did you find your art style? And that's a question that a lot of people asked, and I can't blame you. I used to ask people that a lot too, and 
I found that when you do two things, one, draw because you enjoy drawing, and two, do some studies like life drawing and stuff like that and do it consistently. I'd also say using reference helps improve. So long as you're improving your art and your understanding of what actually exists in the world, you're going to find creating your art style and finding your art style to be a lot easier because you'll be able to exaggerate shapes that you now understand how they actually exist and work. Um, I'm not very good at explaining this, but yeah. Um, actually finding your art style though, it's good to look at other people's art that you really enjoy, obviously. I feel like this is a really standard tip and um, sort of see how they change the shapes and and interpret real life through their eyes. But at the same time, art style is sort of how you interpret life through your eyes. So even if your art is terrible, or even if you think it's terrible, you still have an art style. It's just how you're interpreting the real world and putting it on paper. You can change that and you can improve it, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. All, all I'm trying to say is just keep drawing because you love drawing. Don't do it just to find an art style. I might have to make a whole video on art style. I feel like it's a really broad topic. This video is just full of me saying, oh yeah, I'd like to make a video on, when in actual fact, like, I upload, what, a video a fortnight if I can? Gabriella Chang said, do you have any links for your supplies, like your sketchbook or camera, tips for people starting an art YouTube? I'm going to start putting links for my supplies in my description, and I'll possibly also put like an explanation, like I use my phone to film, I use my phone to record audio <laughs> and normal stuff like that. Um, and my biggest tip for people starting an art YouTube account is to make a quality video rather than a quantity of videos. So it's good to have a lot of videos on your channel, but at the same time, if they are all really lacking in quality, like bad lighting, so they've sort of just been thrown together. Um, they're not really going to be worth re-watching. So I try to make my videos easy to watch and easy to enjoy and easy to re-watch because I re-watch a lot of YouTube videos that I enjoy. I think that people will overall respect quality over quantity. Lonely Drawers said, What is the most random thing you have ever drawn? And probably still that Brendan Urie with tentacle arms picture that was in my sketchbook tour. Def definitely the Brendan Urie with tentacle arms picture. Some Brand Animations said, Who are your inspirations for art if you have any and why? When did you create your amazing characters? What's your favourite piece of art you've done so far? Also, you can use my name if you decide to pick this comment. Thank you! My inspirations for art are probably everybody that I follow on Instagram, so... And I follow over 200 people on Instagram, so just go over to my Instagram, take a look. Hashtag self-promo. And, um, yeah, just take a look through who I'm following and you'll get a pretty decent idea. I'd say that the... The ones that inspire me most are Gabrielle Piccolo, possibly Fukari, Tomatica... I, I don't even know if that's how you say her name. She calls herself Tam. Um, who else? I really like, uh, Birchbug and Viria. They were really inspiring when I first started a couple of years ago, back when I was a DeviantArt kid. When did I create my amazing characters? I, uh, I'd say maybe this time last year, maybe a bit earlier. And I might explain a little more about them another time because hopefully they will be a part of a project someday and I'll actually explain things then. And my favorite piece of art that I've done so far is, actually, do you know what? I don't think that I have one. I think, I don't think that I really do favorites with my art. I don't know why. Ravenclaw Music said, do you use references or just draw from your head? I do a mixture of both. I try not to use references a lot, but at the same time, um, if a pose isn't looking quite right, then I will turn around and uh, like stand in front of my mirror and do whatever pose that I'm trying to get down. And I'll usually use myself as reference, although if I want to do more difficult poses, then I'll go to Pinterest. 
Amazing.grace.a said, Hi, I'm fairly new to your YouTube Insta. I'd like to know if you have any tips on how you organize, lay out your sketchbooks. I was blown away by your sketchbook tour. Fill all the pages, fill them up and just sort of go for it. I also have a habit of covering bad drawings. So, I mean, obviously you can't cover all of your drawings that you think are terrible, but if there's a really, really, really terrible drawing that you're just like, man, I really wish that didn't exist, just get another piece of paper, cover it, draw something over it. It's simple as that. Um, so I don't really do any organization or layouts. I sort of just go with the flow and go with what I feel is best. It's a very hippie answer. Official underscore E-D-U-U-U said, if you could be someone else for one day, who would it be and why? And I'd have to say Taylor Swift because apparently we're both INFPs and I want to know how she defeated the curse of procrastination and actually became successful. Froze Miller said, did you remember to water the gorilla? I knew I forgot to do something. Ava J said, um, how long have you been drawing and show us your worst drawing in your current sketchbook. I already covered how long I've been drawing and like my whole life pretty much. And my worst drawing in my current sketchbook is here with the magic of editing. Look at it. Look at how terrible it is. That is so bad. It will probably get covered. And that's all the questions. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I couldn't get to everyone's questions. I would have liked to, but I just really wasn't able to. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully though, if your question didn't get answered, I will probably do another Q&A in the, in the future. So keep an eye out, keep watching my videos, because I don't really mention in the titles whether or not I'm taking questions. Follow me on Instagram because that's what people do. They shamelessly plug their other social media in their videos, in the ends of their videos. And I am very grateful to everybody who has subscribed so far and everyone who will subscribe. You are lovely people. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye. 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 Creepy weird voices. Yes.